Hi, I'm Alan Redinger. I'm going to show you how to roast garlic. I've got some garlic cloves that have been peeled and the little root ends have been cut off. And what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create a package that I'm going to put into the oven with aluminum foil. And as you see this pile of sheets here, this is nine sheets of aluminum foil. And you see how they're all crinkled? I've taken each one and just sort of roughed it up and then pulled it back. And what this does is it creates air pockets between the layers and this is going to protect the garlic from burning in the oven while it roasts. So I'm just going to mash it down a little bit, just like this. And then I'm going to put a sheet of parchment because I don't really like cooking on aluminum if I can avoid it. So I'm going to put the cloves of garlic in the middle, just like this. And then I'm going to pour a little olive oil on them, just a little bit, like that. And then I'm going to put a, just a pinch of salt, a little bit, and some freshly ground black pepper, just like that. Now I'm just going to shake it a little bit to mix it together. And now I'm going to fold this over, just like this. Press it down around the edges, form an arc, and then starting at one side, crimp and fold and crimp and fold and crimp and fold all the way around, forming a tight seal. This will keep them moist in there because the moisture won't be able to escape, and they'll do a fantastic job of roasting. Just like that. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Once the oven is hot, put the garlic package right in the middle and roast it for 45 minutes. All right. After 45 minutes, remove it from the oven. Always use a hot pad. If you're impatient, you can open it right away. Or if you like to save your fingers, you let it cool just a little bit. Perfectly roasted garlic. Now, if you're not going to use these right away, you can store them in a jar by just sliding them right in off the paper. oil and all. You could use roasted garlic for a number of things. You can mash it up and stir it into mashed potatoes. You can spread it on toast. You can use it in a salad dressing. You can use it in recipes to give it a nice roasted flavor where otherwise you wouldn't. Wonderful stuff.